Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three in the UK. And I'm filming this from my brand new lounge. Um, some of the reasons why I've been kind of dropping out on videos uh, recently on days when I was supposed to do them is because I've been busting my chops to get this room um, sorted. Uh, this was our junk room and I will add a <laughs> um, picture um potentially around here so you can see what it looked like um before <laughs> um it was a junk room we just used it for storage and now it is our living room um we haven't got a radiator in here yet but we have a halogen heater over there you can see um and the heating from the rest of the house kind of wafts in um so yeah i've been busting my chops it looks really really good in here um i will take an after shot for you and um and share it as well so today we are talking about teaching children to read i get a lot of comments asking about children you know who've come out of school and they're not reading very well or reading at all or preschoolers you've decided to home educate them and you want to know how to teach them to read because it's a fundamental skill you know you cannot get anywhere in life really without being literate and i see it as a compulsory thing in um you know in my opinion you have to learn to read you have to learn to write you have to learn basic math basic mathematics and everything else kind of will fall in place once you have those things certainly this is true for my children so I use a, um, so I'm just having a little drink, I've got a bit of a, a bit of a dry mouth today. Mm. Oh, fruity squash and lemonade, very nice. So I use a scheme called Jolly Phonics to teach my children to read. Um, first of all, we have this teacher's book. It's all readily available from Amazon. You can literally get everything from Amazon. Um, this is the teacher's book. Um, the, I think it cost me about 15 pounds. Um, it's not the cheapest thing once you've bought all of the different things if you you know if you want to do them but the bare minimum i feel you need is the teacher's book and then the three pupil books um these cost about six pounds each and this probably cost about 15 so um you're looking at about just under 30 pounds um to teach your child to read and i think that that's a reasonably good price so you've got the teacher book here and this teacher book covers the three pupil books as you can see on the front cover the orange one is the one you start with you move on to the purple and then you go to the green uh, so this explains literally everything to you um it's not it explains it basically teaches you to teach them to read like all of the different names and how to introduce sounds um why is it important why is the handwriting is important how to teach them to blend the sounds to make words this whole yellow section here is about teaching you the facilitator to teach them and then you move on to daily lesson plans and it does suggest you do one a day um i would usually say like you know do do you but with this i really think it's best to kind of do an intensive program and do it daily as it says so here's the page for the letter s obviously it's quite wordy but here you have a story to read to the child it shows you what the page looks like in the book um it tells you the action each sound has an action so for example s or is the sound is s and it has this action which is snake for a snake it also has a story and it has loads of s sounds in it it encourages you to um prepare them to blend and sounding out things like getting them to recognize sounds that begin with s and then it says has further ideas so it says sing the song from the jolly jingles or the jolly songs so the jolly songs is another book that you can get and it's a music book if you play the piano it's got all of the or any other instrument excuse me it has all of the um music in there but it also has a cd and like s every sound has its own song and i found this has really helped because it kind of gives a multi-sensory way of learning to read um so like for, for s the letter the sound is s so the song is the snake is in the grass the snake is in the grass s s the snake is in the grass it's all to like familiar nursery rhymes and i think it's with, with the action and the song and then the visual looking at the letters in the worksheets i think it really compounds that knowledge for the children um so this goes all the way through the orange book and then it moves and then it moves on to the purple book <clears throat> the purple book um 
get you know everything gets a bit harder and a bit trickier and then the green book and so on so i would definitely suggest this if you're going to use phonics i would as i you know i would i wouldn't be telling you about it if i didn't recommend it so teach book so then you have the pupil books these are a must-have they if the, the pupil the teacher book won't make sense without the pupil book and the pupil books won't make sense without the teacher book um so this one is falling apart and it is charles's old book um he i mean i uh oh, excuse me it shows uh a couple of pages here look so here you've got the 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 letter the letter h makes the sound huh and then you've got hold a hand up to your mouth and pant to see if you are out of breath and say huh, 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 huh. and you've got an action and it helps you create the sound and you've got that there handwriting practice recapping on i'm just going a bit closer for you recapping on previous sounds and letters you've learnt some blending words to do and then a little activity three of these sounds with the letter huh so have the suh huh sound in them cross out the one that does not it's very simple it's very easy um and it you know you just the idea is you do one of those a day you recap on the ones you've done each day as well um blend lots of words and the kids should be reading in no time they do also have some like early readers to go with these um but we'd never had those we had the biff chip and kipper ones instead um because we found once they were making good progress on the blending they could do um they could do the Biff Chip and Kippers and they certainly could get through this if they got through this book they could then be reading like the purple level really really easily so we have that and then the um this purple book it gets a bit trickier and you do need the pupil book for it because like this one for example it will um ask you to you know it will give you instructions about what to do for each of these things um this there's also it's also going to give you words to dictate to them so they have to um they have to read the words um they or they have to spell the words out to you and things like that it really gives a thorough like go through of um everything and then you move on to book three and again it's getting harder and harder and they're having to write more things um and yeah it's just it is a really really good book so i would definitely recommend the, the set there they also have some other books and i it i think it's really useful for people who maybe learn in different ways finger phonics we really like these and you can get them in bigger sizes um so it's got some words for you to blend it's very engaging and colorful it reminds you of the action and the sound you're supposed to be making and then it has this bit here which this is kind of indented so you can run your finger along it like this and I think that's really useful for people who are more tactile. Um, it's certainly helped for all of mine. They all really like kind of, um, really like just playing with them and having a feel. And there's lots of things to spot in them. You know, you can think, oh, like how many things can you find on this page that begin with tough? You've got tent, you've got tennis ball, you've got tennis racket, you know, you've got tabby cat, <laughs> um, teddy bear top that sort of thing um i suspect you could probably class there we go tulips you've got tulips as well so lots of things that begin with t um and it also says you know cats it's got that t sound in it um they're really really good and i would recommend these um for kind of preschool learners as well you can introduce letter sounds and um and like the feel of the letters and spotting things like oh what things here begin with ah oh look ants ah ah ants and so on um and kind of introduce the sounds and learning to read but without actually going now we must sit down and read um so i would really recommend these from like age two three like whenever they start to engage in this sort of thing just sitting down looking through them telling them the sound letting them touch it talking about what's in the picture and then putting them away um they do all the sounds we've got all of them and not all of them in my hand right now but we do have all of the books so then some other books that we've got here are um activity books these are a bit more fun um and you've got my one of my favorites uh, it's not in this one it's in the first one the letter s they want you to um i really liked the s book on book one because it encourages the children to get some kitchen towel 
wet it and then sprinkle cress seeds into the letter S and then watch it grow and I think that that kind of outside the box learning and different activities to try and teach reading to make it more fun especially for children who are more reluctant I think it's a really really good idea oh I'm yawning like crazy I'm so sorry oh. and there's stickers so you know colourful engaging activities that are a bit more outside the box and stickers and these were like one ninety nine, something like that each and you can buy the whole set as one which I don't think is um is I think it's a little bit more cheaper so finally the final resource that I have to show you are these workbooks these are not the most exciting things you've ever seen in your life um, but they are useful they are basically little workbooks you've got a little bit of an activity here it's always nice to have a color in page isn't it and then it's handwriting practice that's literally it Okay, so it's literally handwriting practice. It's precursive, so it does um, teach you precursive, and then it has a couple of activities at the back. Um, I actually, I don't remember how much these are from Amazon. I actually got these on a like a free selling site um, on Facebook, um, and yeah, they were they were selling them for really cheap. Ow, <laughs> they were selling them for really cheap, and they're really good to kind of compound that knowledge again a bit more um i would really recommend jolly phonics i've linked their website in the description and i i wouldn't use another reading scheme um for teaching to read from a phonics point of view if i was teaching phonics first and then sight reading alongside a little bit later i would use jolly phonics i wouldn't use anything else um just because they make it so easy for you lesson plans workbooks sticker books finger phonics books like all of that it's just so easy like i don't have to there's one area of their education i don't have to try really hard to get right because there's the resources there to help me and i think it's when it's something so fundamental and so important you really want to be getting it right and you know everyone feels like that and they like have one area where they're like this is so important i don't want to mess this up and i feel like reading is the thing for me i have such a passion for reading i love reading anything um, I love reading non-fiction, anything that is teaching me, I'm just really, really interested in, and I've managed to instill that love of reading in my eldest. Um, Charles is really, really into reading, and once he, once it clicked for him, he was just like, I want to read everything and anything, and now he pretty much will. He will just, you hand him a book, and he's like, yeah, okay, I'll read it. Um, and I love that. I love that he's not even fussy about what kind of style of book he reads. He just wants to read everything, and that's amazing, and I love that that. Um, Bessie is a more reluctant reader. She's still learning. We're very at the very beginning stage with her, so I'm hoping that we can um, start making some progress with these with her um, coming into the new year, and it will click for her, and hopefully she'll love reading too. Um, and Albert, I'm going to start looking at these finger phonics books with him and doing some kind of letter themed activities just so he can start recognising them but without kind of any pressure and then hopefully when he is um, a bit older, because he's only just coming up to four now, when he's a little bit older we'll start um, kind of doing it a little bit more. So how do you guys, who are those of you watching who are seasoned home educators, how have you taught your kids to read? Do you have a specific reading scheme that you use, a special phonics scheme? Do you teach sight reading first? Um, anything, I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to hear what you do. I'm going to be talking about a sight reading first programme next week um, and sharing that with you. Um, I have not tried it on my children for a long term um we started it and it just didn't fit at the time and then we just went on to jolly phonics and it f and everything clicked so um i am thinking about using it with bessie rather excuse me i'm so tired Ooh. um using it with bessie rather than this i want to kind of gauge um what she feels happy with and what she prefers to do and then I'll decide which one. Ultimately whether you start with phonics first and then do sight reading or whether you do sight reading first and then do phonics you're gonna learn both and they kind of get you get the child reading you know in in, in, in the, the, around the same time it just some kids pick up phonics quicker than they do sight reading and some kids pick up sight reading better than they do phonics um, at first and whatever gets them reading quicker as soon as they're starting to read and they get confidence they're then willing to try more and then you're just on a roll so that would be my biggest tip is to find the way that makes your child feel confident and once that confidence comes everything will just click into place um, if you want to ask me any questions about teaching children to read leave me a comment 
give me a message on Instagram or on the Facebook page and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. I'm really excited to share nec uh, the next video with you. We will get round to the science kit that I keep talking about. Um, our next video is going to be us getting a Christmas tree and probably doing some decorating. So uh, Christmas is coming to the Beale household. Have a lovely week and I hope it's been a little bit less stressful than mine. Um, and uh, I love you all lots. Thank you so much for your support. We're now at 620 subscribers and today I just felt like giving up. I didn't want to, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And my husband reminded me that there's 620 of you waiting for a video this evening and it spurred me into action. And now I'm here talking to you. I'm like, oh yes. I remember why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this for any other reason other than to share this journey with you and to help you <laughs> um, as with my with my you know knowledge of home education and neurodiverse children and parenting. So thank you a lot. You keep me going. Uh, leave me comments, even if you're just saying hi. I love to hear from you. It makes my day and helps me in moments like this when I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.